In this tutorial, I'm going to cover uh, Microsoft Excel 2016 and the use of one-way data tables in order to simulate different things happening in our data. So I have this basic spreadsheet that I'm working with. It's just a profit model. And up here uh, is my data entry area, unit price, unit cost, fixed cost, and the demand can simply be entered. Down below is mostly calculations. The unit price gets pulled from up above. The quantity sold gets pulled uh, based on a min statement, and it's the minimum of either the demand or down here the quantity produced. So those two numbers would need to be entered. Um, the revenue is a simple calculation of quantity times price. The variable cost are the units produced times the unit cost and then the fixed cost and we end up with a simple profit calculation of the revenue minus both costs. So it's a working spreadsheet. We could do a little what if analysis by simply entering numbers up here and just say well what if our demand was 25,000 then our profit would be negative uh, 360,000. So we have some different ways that we can uh, kind of explore what's going to happen to our profit under different scenarios but keep in mind that that min statements in there so it's always going to be calculating a min of the quantity produced and the demand so we've got a cap on the capacity that we're able to handle. But rather than just hard typing the numbers in, Excel also has the one-way data table function and so that's what I want to demonstrate here. And so uh, I'm going to move over here on the right where there's some space for us to create this new data table and I'm going to tell it that uh, I want to calculate profit. So I'm just going to put equals C22 so that'll draw in my um, profit calculation. And I'm going to move down over one and I'm going to put in different levels of demand. So I'm going to put in 10,000, uh, 15,000, uh, 20,000, and then I'm going to actually cop just use the uh, replicate function in, in uh, Excel to get us down to, let's say, 60,000. There we go. Now, uh, this is where our data table is going to go. And so I'm going to go to the data tab, choose what if analysis, and then data table. And it asks me, I'm going to actually build this as a column, so it's, I'm going to put it over here. And it's asking me actually which value I'm going to substitute into my table over here. And that's going to be demand. So I'm going to put B8 in there. So what Excel will do is it'll take each of these values, it'll substitute them into the demand cell and use that to recalculate profit and there it is so our profit at a demand I'm going to put some titles in here demand Go ahead and, uh, center that up and this is the profit calculation so our demand at our at is 10,000 then our profit is going to be negative 960,000 at 15,000 negative 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 right down the line at 35,000 we finally move to a positive profit but then it hits 240,000 and stays there which is okay because right now I'm capped at a production quantity of 40,000 so I really never sell more than 40,000 so the data table is here it allows me to test all these values at once I can format it just like I do any other table I can set it up with the dollar signs and everything so it looks correct and this all should have commas so we can set up a really nice table and get rid of those decimal places so Microsoft Excel has allowed us to create a table of values and this can be much longer as many as I want to test and I tell it to use this cells formula and it substitutes in. So it's a great way to do what-if analysis.